Tis the 56th anniversary of the founding and arguably the most stable and fastest growing economic, political and cultural alliance on the planet whose 10 stock logo features the 10 original founding members that have since added one more in the country of Timor-Leste. All told, it has a combined population of over 600 million spread across a land area covering 1.7 million square miles and has a collective GDP of $10.2 trillion. Our Naomi Tiburso tells us more on the ASEAN as it celebrates over five and a half decades of existence and the congratulatory message sent by the PCO to all member nations of the alliance. <laughs> ASEAN representatives came together to celebrate the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, the second face-to-face -face celebration of ASEAN since the pandemic was held in Makati City. The National Folk Dance Company of the Philippines also performed at the celebration. The aim of the celebration is to promote the importance of collaboration to address the problems in the region and the growth of the economy. After 56 years, the ASEAN relationship has been successful and peaceful, including 670 million people spread over 11 member countries. ASEAN has a combined GDP of 3.7 trillion US dollars, the third largest economy in Asia, and the fifth largest economy in the whole world after US, China, Japan, and Germany. ASEAN has become arguably the most successful regional organization in the region. ASEAN has blossomed into a beacon of unity, cooperation, and progress in Southeast Asia and the Indo-Pacific. According to the Director General of the ASEAN, National Secretariat Assistant Secretary Daniel Espiritu, the growth of the ASEAN economy can be related to the trade agreements entered into by the countries. We're expecting that uh, for the various economic initiatives ng ASEAN, uh, lalo nating mapapalago yung uh, economic growth ng ASEAN because even right now, we are already uh, most of the ASEAN countries are already enjoying uh, among the highest growth rates in the world. No? On the sidelines of the event, Vietnamese Ambassador Wang Hui Chung assured the commitment of Vietnam to the Philippines as its strategic partner. House Speaker Martin Romualdez earlier confirmed the commitment of the Vietnam National Assembly President to supply affordable rice to the Philippines in the face of the threat of El Nino. ASEAN also has a mechanism to assist member countries experiencing rice shortages. The ASEAN has a mechanism. We call it the uh, ASEAN Plus 3 Emergency Rice Reserve. So, uh, nakakakuha tayo doon ng bigas na pampuno to uh, cope up with uh, ano, yung uh, mga immediate na, yung urgent na emergencies. Naomi Tiburcio, for the nation.